How's it going guys? It's Poetry Son and welcome back to another episode of the Vicky 2 uh, campaign as Germany. Um, where we last left off, stuff was happening I suppose. Uh, we're recruiting new armies and beyond that, I don't, to be honest, I don't really remember a whole lot of what's going on. Uh, it's been a, not like a, a week, but like, a, it's been like five days since I've recorded. So let's go ahead and, uh, and do what we do with our armies and make a good 36 stack, right? Um, we are probably going to go to war with Austria again once our truce is up, which will be when? Uh, July, or August, I mean. Uh, so, that'll work. Sounds good to me. We can acquire cores, and that'll be easy, so we'll do that. Um, beyond that, I don't really, I don't really know what else we want to, like, do. Uh, colonization is coming up soon, I suppose. Um, and, and beyond that, I don't know how much longer we want to go with this campaign. Probably at least to like 1900 or so, but I don't know how long that'll take. This series has been fairly short. Not in a bad way, though. It's been all condensed and, and action-packed, you know, and I like that. Um, I actually, soon I'm going to make an update video where I actually ask you guys, what do you want to see? Do you want to see next another series uh, in Vicky 2, or do you want to see some something else? Because uh, cause I think we're nearing the end of the campaign, although it's not quite just yet. We'll probably have another five episodes at least um but either way maybe six we'll see either way for now we're gonna go to war soon with these guys um should we go ahead and like we might want to just like let them win i think i'm just gonna like do a white piece or something I, they don't have any war goals that they've added. I would give them them. I don't really care to be at war with them any longer. <laughs> but they haven't really done anything like that. So our truce with Austria will be ending soon. At which point we will be going to war with them. So. Yeah. No taxes on the upper class. Let's see if that helps. Um, but yeah, I, I'm keep thinking that the volume is too loud in the game or something. Hopefully it's not. If anything, it might be a little too quiet for you guys. So when is our truce over? It's over now. Okay, cool. I'm gonna declare war on you. Acquire core. Uh, when we add this war goal, we gain zero infamy. We're not gonna get any uh, infamy, so that's good. South Tyrol and Tyrol. Tyrol is the one that's going to cost the most. So why don't we go for Tyrol? Let's do it. Take Tyrol. I'd like to call in our allies. Who will call? Who will join? Okay. Some people will, but I shouldn't do that. Then there's no point to doing that. Let's just go to war with Austria. Call in uh, Spain, I suppose. Call you in. And Sweden, what about you? We'll accept to both of those, actually, which is good. All right, cool. And with that, let's go and blitz in here and uh, take over their whole country, basically. So uh, let's just kind of go through and siege them in a fairly uh, easy fashion. Uh, they might be protected by someone. We should watch out for this. Okay, let's see. So... Netherlands. We're also over the Netherlands. Forgot about that. Alright, uh... Not too bad. Let's go ahead and go over here. You siege that now, and you siege that now, and you siege that now, and you siege that now. Now siege that one now. And there you go. You guys, I'm gonna wait. You guys don't really need to do anything right now. Um... The Battle of Graz, the Battle of Innsbruck, Battle of Graz. Nice, we stack wiped them already. Pretty easy, I would say. Our Super Germany is well on its way, I would say, to to being a uh, an actual Super Germany. Wow, the game volume is really loud for me, but I think that's just my fault, so I'm not going to worry about changing it right now, I don't think. Um, for now, let's just go ahead and, and beat up some people. <laughs> uh, when this is done, I want you to go there, smash that army, and then help siege down Brussels. Alright, why is the game volume so loud? Alright, tell you what, I think it's not just me. There we go. That might be a little bit more reasonable. And I'll raise it up for you guys now. It was like really loud for me, so there we go. 
Hopefully that's good. Man, two Sicilies is getting wrecked by Sardinia Piedmont. <laughs> Who would have thought? Um, let's go ahead and come over here. You go there. You go here. This is going to be a pretty easy war unless someone intervenes on their behalf. So until that happens, we're not going to worry about it too much. Um, let's just go ahead and, and look at what's going on up here. Not too much. Looks pretty good. It's about to be uh, 1880, and then we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be able to colonize pretty soon after that. Not immediately after that, but pretty soon. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, you go to Treviso, why don't you? Okay. Uh, gain terrorist cells. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Peace offer from Flanders. What do you want? Yeah, sounds good. Get out of this war. Um, what about the Netherlands? Will you get out of this war? Oh, are you the leader of the war? You are. You assumed the leadership. Interesting. In that case, let's go ahead and uh, be a little bit more careful about what we're doing here, I suppose. Well, that should be should be fine for the most part. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to really be a problem. Let's go ahead and uh, siege down the rest of the country. I think we want to add another war goal, probably, honestly. Um, so let's go to Austria, add war goal, acquire court, and then do this one as well. Cost 41. I don't think we're going to have enough for this, but let's see. If we fail to achieve this war goal, I think we probably add this one, South Tyrol, though. And that will probably not be... It's going to be over 100%, I think, but I think they might still accept it. Let's hope they will, otherwise they're going to lose some prestige for no reason. But I'm going to risk it for the biscuit, so why not? Meanwhile, we're just going to full occupy everyone. No big deal, all right? Okay, you go to Utrecht, you go to Breda, you go to, to Middleburg. And should be no problem. Okay, in a couple days we're about to have the ability to uh, to possibly, to have a chance at least to get um, get colonization stuff going here. Let's, uh, let's go in and wait a second. And we'll do, I think we just got it. Colonial negotiations. I think that's it, right? We can do it now, right? The Dark Continent. Uh, okay, what is the... Uh, let me see. Hold on. The nation, It's Nationalism and Imperialism. The years before 1890? What? Um... Okay. Okay, this is it. So, okay, so we need... Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is the other thing. Oh, crap, man. I really hope that this doesn't hold us back. So, so what we need to do now is... Hmm. Steel steamers, biologism, and military logistics. Steel steamers... Biologism. Steel steamers, right? Biologism. There, and military logistics, right? Oh, gosh. I, dude, that's, that's sucky. So apparently we still can't do it. Come on, it's just one thing after another holding us back. Stop holding us back. And good thing is, we'll know when other people are able to. Should, so that shouldn't be too bad. Hey, there's the, uh... There's Sardinia Piedmont. Should we go fight them? Might as well, right? I feel like we might as well. Hold on. Just sit there for a second. Okay, you. Stop doing that. That's why you're doing that. Okay. We do want to go and... Uh, 
Paul from Hungary. Hungarian liberation of Western Transylvania against Romania. Sure. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on this. You go over here. Yeah, there you go. Go and start doing that. Okay. Netherlands. Acquire Tyrol, acquire, acquire South Tyrol. There we go. Uh, our lands returned. Uh, no, if you do actually compare with uh, return options, uh, we will keep everything we gained. Uh, we. It doesn't say what they'll do. Let's just, just do that. I don't think it matters what happens there, what you do there. Uh, all right, so cool. We gained that. We only have one thing left to take from them, one state. And then we might want to take some additional land as well. But still, we're getting uh, pretty close to being done with eating Austria, eating the land that we need from them at least. I wonder if they'll change their uh, their tag <laughs> when they lose their, um, their last province that's actually Austrian. You know? We'll see. How much population did we just take there? Tyrol is not too much, I don't think, but... Tyrol, yeah, it's like maybe 300,000 or 200,000, but it's wood, it's an, it's some nice resources that we got there, so whatever. I'm not too worried about it, huh? Okay. Yeah, you feel me? Okay. Let's go ahead and get these guys to move back down to here. Galicia Ladomria? I still don't know how to say that, <laughs> but whatever. Hungary is in our sphere. Decrease someone's opinion of them. Sure, Russia. There you are. I forgot Russia actually changed their government type. They had a something forced on them by rebels, right? So can you guys go ahead and come in here? Might as well go beat up some uh, Sardinian scum. Okay. Alliance offer from Montenegro. I don't think I care about you. Sorry. <laughs> Just being honest. Whatever. Oh, we are at war with Russia. Hey, uh, maybe we want to deal with that, huh? Why are we at war with Russia? Probably in, yeah, the Transylvanian War, right? And we're the war leader, so we're going to have to deal with this. Um, hmm. All right, well, what do we do? I suppose we bring armies over here to deal with them. Let's use this 54 stack. That's actually not a bad idea. Just use the 54 stack. Use it smartly and we can uh, do well. It'll be fine. Okay. Apparently they don't like us uh, sieging them down over here. Yo, Sardinia Pima, I don't care to fight you. What do you want? Just tell me what you want. They don't really, they're not giving me, they're not telling me what they want, which is a problem. Here, just, alright, here. Let's go ahead and, uh, reinforce some of these provinces here. Battle of the Southern Baltic Sea, nice, whatever. Uh, come over here with you. You should come over here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and just focus on some of this stuff. Okay, you guys, go ahead and retreat. This is not looking too hot. Well, that's not good. I'm a little bit annoyed by these guys, honestly. Retreat to there. Retreat, just retreat. I don't care to fight them anymore, I've decided. <laughs> France declared war upon us. What in the world is happening? Okay, what? French liberation of Elsass Lothringen. Really? Really? Why are you declaring war on us, France? Excuse me? Why? You're not gonna bring. <laughs> what? I don't understand why France is doing this. This doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, well. Screw you too, France. Uh, Alright, well, let's mobilize, I think. Uh, that'll probably be a good idea. Mobilize. Go ahead and switch our party to... Conservative party. 
the reason, well, there's a few reasons why. First off, hey, it'll give us uh, the ability to do this. Why not? Amount of people. Minimum wage movement. Sounds good. Minimum wage, acceptable minimum wage. Let's go ahead and meanwhile, uh, crank up taxes. We need some taxes. Uh, crank up the tariffs. We're going to need some money, I think. Uh, beyond this, I don't know. Let's just... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Let's just say that. We can make Munich probably be a... Uh, well, no, let's just keep one rally point. It'll get too confusing if we don't. Uh, beyond that, what else do we want to do? I don't know. I guess we what we do is we... Uh, we need to establish a sort of front line here against the Russians. And then if we can do that, we can, um... I think we'll be fine in fighting them. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. One of you go here, and the other one go to there. There you go. Uh, meanwhile, France! Why are you being a little wanker? So, with this, these armies here, this is a lot of armies, right? So what I think we do here is we select most of them. Uh, well, let's, like, let's split up for now, but let's wait a month and let some uh, reinforcements happen. How about... Okay. You, go and siege that back. Okay. Basically, I don't care to fight the... I don't care to fight Sardinia Piedmont <laughs> at all. I don't really have any desire to fight them. So let's, uh, what we do is we keep two armies here. The rest of them spread out and get ready to go to France. But we're just going to sit here in the mountains and they can't pass through this side. So as long as we have two armies there, we will probably suffer a bit of attrition, but it'll be fine. On this side, we need to go in and establish a front line now, because otherwise we know what happens. They'll just start sieging everything. Um... And that's a problem, so let's go ahead and, and do that. But we're going to have to... Well, we're not going to have enough right away, basically. So that army, you guys are tasked with defending the mountains there. Trent is hills. You know what? That's fine. Go to go to Trent. Actually, we're going to take a, one of these armies and go up somewhere else, too. So we need only two more stacks, really. So let's go ahead and take some from this side. I'm more worried about the French than I am the Russians. Russians are having a little bit of a rough time lately, so... Go up here, and there we go. And we should have a front line, if this is good. Spanning the length of our entire country, really. So let's see if they can get into place quick enough. Apparently they are attacking us down there. Alright. Tell you what, you guys, come down here. To Bosnia. The USA is in this war against France, which is great, actually. It's hilarious. Shrapnel standard design. Nice. Uh, the war against Russia. I kind of want to just, like, white piece out. Will we lose prestige for this? Nope. Hungary did. <laughs> Sorry, Hungary. I'm not fighting Russia anymore. Uh, we're going to fight instead against Sardinia, Piedmont, and France. Retreat to Bosnia. The Stockholm Conference of 1880. Okay. Interesting. Uh, add to sphere. Okay. Interesting. This is an interesting event. Humiliate. Add to sphere CB on them. I'm not going to do that, but, but it is interesting. Okay, that's good. The Schwabing Circles. What does this do? Prestige? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. You know, sure, whatever. Prestige. Increase the conscription time. Uh, service by requirement. No, we don't need to do that. Restore the academy. No, no, I think we're good. Alright, let's continue onwards. They're gonna engage us here, huh? So we have our line set up. Now, wherever they engage us, we'll just reinforce, basically, and no, stop that. You stay there. Okay, you go over there. Yep, we need to hold those mountains. There you go. You come over here to the front line. With uh, France, the French front line. 
Okay. Get ready to reinforce various places. Research. Uh, Alright, what do we need? Steel steamers. That's one. Okay. Sudan. Really. Colonial conquest waiting on great power. Over the liberation of Sudan in e uh, Egypt. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, is anyone colonizing? I, I will be very pissed off if I see anyone colonizing. No, there's not. There is. The British! What? How? How? Nationalism, imperialism. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not acceptable. The Dark Continent. Any great power? They shouldn't... What? How do they... Okay, you know what? It must be that the life rating is... Uh... How? How are you doing this? UK! This is not acceptable. I don't know how they're doing this. This is uh, not good. Hmm. We need to work. I mean, we're just going to work on this anyway. So, no, you know what? There's nothing we can do. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There's nothing we can do. So. Okay. R Sudan. Whoa, they accepted it. Holy cow. So, Sudan exists, and that's awful. Name gore. <laughs> Oh, God. Sicilian re reactionaries, 290,000. Holy cow. Wow. Okay, apparently someone, some people are pissed off in, uh, in the two Sicilies, huh? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, slowly push up this front line. How about... Okay. There you go. There you go. Let's push up. Squeeze them in. We need one of these armies here to go over here. And then another one to go in there. And then why don't yeah, get another one in here. Okay. I'd be lying if I said that I think this is going to be a hard war. Okay. So now you guys... Yeah, there we go. We're going to absolutely wreck these mother truckers. Okay. Battle of Bozin. That one was 17% war score. Nice. Just smash up their armies everywhere, honestly. Sardinia Piedmont. I'm going to destroy you. I hope you realize this. I was gonna let you live in peace, but, you know, now I will destroy you since you're not willing to accept a white peace yet. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you thought you were gonna win this, France. You know, whatever, but... I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> are you really that? Are you really that dumb? Okay. Let's go ahead and move out some of these armies here. We need to like split them up in different ways. You should go combine up with that army. Why don't you just go straight for their capital? Do it. A lot of artillery. That'll be nice. Let's go ahead and uh, group up these guys here and combine them. Okay. I'm going to lose some battles there. That's okay. Not a big deal. Split them in half and then move one there. Move one there and then there. That should be good. They've slipped past my uh, front line somehow, which I do not like, and I will be preventing in a second. We will destroy them. We will destroy them. 
This is my Morgan Freeman voice. Uh, I need to end this episode here, though. So thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. This has been a fun time. Oh, jeez. Uh, I forgot about this. Yeah, I forgot about you. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, let's uh, maybe, like, do this. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back in the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.